Trump is about to drop the biggest nuclear bomb in U.S. history, here's where it's going. Hope you didn't get too excited about the headline, but this isn't the nuclear bomb you may have hoped for. Trump doesn't have plans to blow up an entire country or start World War III, but there is a nuclear option that he's exploring for the American healthcare system and it's getting extremely interesting. Let's face it, you thought we were seconds away from blowing up North Korea, right? Wrong. Dropping real bombs is actually easier than trying to figure out a worthwhile healthcare system that takes care of hard-working Americans. Trump wants the GOP to use the nuclear option, reform taxes, and pass the American Health Care Act. Trump believes the GOP-led Congress should use the nuclear option to reform taxes and pass the American Health Care Act. Hold on just a minute. Has anyone actually looked at the AHCA yet? From what I recall, the GOP version of a health care system is just as bad as Obamacare. If we're going to change the plan just for the sake of erasing Obama's name from it, then it's not worth doing. Say Donald Trump on Twitter. The U.S. Senate should switch to 51 votes, immediately, and get health care and tax cuts approved, fast and easy. Dems would do it, no doubt. If the GOP wants to change the plan and make sure it doesn't suck like Obamacare, then now I'm ready to listen. You see, I could care less if something has Obama's name on it as long as it works for the American people. But Obamacare doesn't work. The system is as flawed as the website was when it first came out and those overpaid dummies couldn't get it right. I know it's a major project, but for the amount of money they were paid, you'd think it would be the best thing since Mary ate sliced bread during her immaculate conception. If the government overhauls the tax system to pass the health care system, then they better make sure it benefits the hard-working middle class more than anything. This is where GOP votes come from. The hard-working middle class and upper class vote for the right-wing candidates and the poor people and uneducated turds with jobs vote for the left-wing candidates. The poor people who vote Democrat always stay poor and they don't ever get out of poverty. That's why there are tons of poor urban cities run by Democrat mayors. If Democrats did their job, then their people wouldn't always be stereotypical urban people who are often broke as a joke. Could the Democrats do something, for once? If Trump changes the tax system, then he better make sure it benefits the middle class more than anything. They pay for almost everything. They don't get high-class millionaire corporate tax breaks. They don't get food stamps and welfare, but they sure as hell pay for everyone else to have them. And Trump's tax system needs to benefit the lower-class people too. Give them a slight break on taxes so they can afford to live and spark some activity in the economy. If a poor person is taxed like crazy, then they won't have much money to spend in the stores or on finer things in life that can also be taxed. People need spending money to keep the economy thriving, so taxing people a little bit less can go a long way. There's only one problem. Trump has yet to offer the precise details of his tax proposal. And without specifics, Congress can't pass anything. Size. Still, the basic premise stands, which is that once the Trump administration finishes outlining the details of its tax plan, Congress should just use the so-called nuclear option to bypass Democrat obstructionists and pass it right away. If Democrats are against it, then the reasoning is because it's Trump and they're against anything he does. I'm almost certain that most Democrats wouldn't even read the terms of Trump's health care plan. They don't want to. They hate him. They're intolerable leftists who would rather be crybabies than work together. Walking into a room full of Democrats and you're not sure if you're at a political event or a daycare. These babies are the worst. To get a rough estimate of how much his plan might potentially save you, check out this calculator. It's based on the tax proposal issued by Trump during his presidential campaign last year, but the similarities between that plan and his current one are good enough for you to get a rough idea. FYI, it saved me about $4,000. I don't care if it saves someone $4,000 on taxes. What if it costs someone $8,000 in health care? Then you've been tricked into paying more overall, not less. Health care needs to be affordable, not free, and have decent coverage. You know what's crazy? The fact that we should all have good health care because healthy people can go to work. Healthy people are less likely to sit home and collect government benefits. Healthy people will get a job and be productive people in society. 
as long as Trump's plan actually looks good, then vote it in. If it's just like Obamacare, then forget it. Not interested in watching people get poor coverage for high prices. Any health care plan that isn't affordable or has below average service should be nuked. If you want people off welfare, then give them good health care. If they're healthy, then they have to work. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe and comment because your voice matters and visit our page on Facebook and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.